Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm David with Softron. Now the question we always get is how much can we capture on one computer with Movie Recorder? And so I wanna take a look at the current Mac lineup and give you some expectations from those different machines because it is quite remarkable, but there's some factors to keep in mind when you're choosing. And so I wanna tell you what those are. First is the Thunderbolt cable. The Thunderbolt cable does have huge bandwidth, except we're talking about uncompressed video. So at most it can capture is two channels of 4K60. And the next part of that is IO. How much IO does the machine have? So something like the iMac has two Thunderbolt ports, but if you talk about the Mac Studio, the Ultra version, it would have six. And of course the Mac Pro has the PCI slots. Lastly is the different performance of the Apple Silicon. So something like the M1 or M2, and then the different editions of that of the Pro, Max, and Ultra, and how that will also impact you. So when we look at this lineup, I wanna start with the iMac because that is still M1. And that's the only machine that still can't even meet the Thunderbolt cable limit. So that two channels of 4K60 is not something you're gonna do on the iMac. It can capture two channels of 1080p, 60 frames per second in ProRes HQ, and it can capture one channel of 4K30. Now the Mac Mini M1 had the same numbers. We were seeing the same performance on that machine, but the Mac Mini M2 Pro blew that out of the water because I had more than 18 channels of HD being recorded and it was fine. So I went over to 4K and saw that we had more than six channels of 4K60 being captured. And that's quite remarkable on such a small form factor. So when we look at the rest of the lineup, we can see that it's always those two channels of 4K60 times the amount of Thunderbolt ports means that's what we can do. Of course, keep in mind, you probably wanna keep one Thunderbolt port for your storage because you're gonna to wanna to use edit while ingest with movie recorder. So the next model I wanna talk about is the MacBook. The MacBook can do four channels of 4K60 in ProRes HQ. And so we're using those two Thunderbolts and we have the third for storage, of course. And this is remarkable because this counts for whether you're using the M1 or the M2, that's Pro or Max, it still works and delivers that performance. The next model is the Mac Studio. Now the Max version of the processor has four Thunderbolt ports. So we can do those six channels of 4K60, that fourth one for storage. And it's important to know those two front ports are USB-C. The Mac Studio Ultra has six Thunderbolt ports, so we can do those 10 channels of 4K60, of course, saving that six one for storage. And that's quite remarkable that whether we're talking about the M1 or the M2, those numbers are the same. So if you have the previous year's model of that, it's still going to work. Now let's talk about the Mac Pro and why it's such a game changer. Those PCI slots gives us the full bandwidth of each of those video cards, whether it's the DeltaCast 12G 4C available from us or something like the DeckLink 8K Pro. So you can have four channels of 4K60 coming into the machine. And so with those six slots, we said, let's hook up 24 channels and see what happens. And that's why we were blown away when we could do 24 channels of 4K60 on that machine with no problem. Another bonus of those PCI slots is it makes the Mac Pro the only machine that can capture 8K60. And so we started looking at the machines in other ways. How can we test what the processor can do versus what it physically is limited by? And we could see that it could do 43 channels of 4K60. To compare that to the M1 Ultra that can only do 24 channels. So we can see the difference between the M2 and the M1 in the same model. And so that, that Mac Pro really is substantial because we're only at 60% of the usage on that CPU, meaning you, you have almost a whole nother computer there of processing power. And then when we measured the amount of power being used, 24 channels of 4K60, it was only 300 watts, which is very small. And the machine itself was whisper quiet. So this is something you can use inside of a production van or have it near you and it wouldn't make the entire control room noisy. So that's why I think the current Mac lineup really is so special. Because if we're talking about the Mac Mini M2 Pro all the way to the Mac Pro, really we have the power needed to capture it. We're only limited by the physical aspect of the machine. 
And so please go to softron.tv, subscribe to this channel as more machines come out and we'll probably do more reviews. And so make sure you know what's going on because really movie recorder on the air video and M replay, there's never been a better time to try it now with the new Apple Silicon. Thanks for watching.